Uh, that takes Overton. Oh, we have a comment in Overton. I'm sorry. Well, no, we don't. We're just checking. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay. Um, in the chairman's report uh, at this time, the uh, chairman would uh, like to introduce uh, Steve Miller, who was uh, appointed to the board by the board uh, in the last meeting. Uh, if Steve would like to say something, he's more than welcome to. He's not forced to, but you're more than welcome to speak if you so desire. Uh, really, as uh, I've been in the fire industry for 30 years myself. Uh, about the only thing I can say is I would like to try to finish out Craig's uh, term. Try to watch out for the repair as much as possible. Do what's right. And other than that, that's about all I can, I have, I can offer. Okay. Um, that takes care of the chairman's report. Uh, we go to the attorney's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have a couple issues. One, uh, well, we have the uh, two complaints that were made uh, against the, the district. We've received decisions in, in both cases. Uh, one was, of course, to the uh, Attorney General's office uh, regarding the open meeting law complaint, and the other was to the uh, Nevada Commission on Ethics regarding several other allegations. Uh, both complaints have been dismissed. Um, in the uh, case of the uh, Attorney General's decision uh, regarding the open meeting law complaints, um, the uh, Attorney General uh, found that uh, some of the allegations um, weren't relevant to op the open meeting law, weren't subject to the open meeting law. I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, one of the allegations um, the in the discussion says, allegation number one contains facts indicating that supporting materials were provided to the trustees even as they walked into the board meeting. There is no open meeting law requirement that the public body members receive supporting materials at any time prior to the meeting. Um, and two and four were similar in that Complaints were made uh, of certain things which aren't required. Uh, another complaint, for example, was that uh, we didn't have all our financial documents available online. Again, there is no requirement, uh, even in the open meeting law, for that to, to take place. Um, uh, in reality, when it comes down to it, we're not subject to the open meeting law. Uh, I've stated that in the past. Uh, the Attorney General's office decided they did not want to take that issue on and didn't. Uh, they found uh, in their conclusion that resolution of this complaint does not require this office to determine whether OPD is a public body and therefore subject to the open meeting law. And the reason is, is we have our own statute, uh, NRS 318, that deals with OPD uh, and uh, general improvement districts. It provides certain requirements on OPD and what we are supposed to do with the public. Uh, and uh, the decision of the Attorney General was that uh, the 318 regulates us and, uh, and they don't have the regulatory th authority uh, or enforcement authority over 318. Um, we are complying with 318 at this time and we will continue to uh, do so. And 318 does require a quite a bit of openness on the part of the board. It does, and we've, we've followed, in fact, we go above and beyond the openness required in, in 318. Um, uh, they specifically addressed the public recordings, the recording of the meetings, which we haven't done in the past, um, because we take minutes and such. Um, the board decided a while ago to, uh, or a couple months ago, to record the meetings, and they're now being recorded. Um, the Attorney General's office was grateful for that uh, and urged us to continue to comply with those type of open meeting law requirements, but we, again, aren't required to. But again, as we discussed in the past, we're striving to be uh, as open as we can. 
the second one was the Nevada Commission on Ethics decision. Um, it first went to a panel, uh, and then if it if it was if they found any merit, uh, it would then go to the uh, commission itself. Um, the panel was very thorough. Uh, there was a lot of communication uh, between the investigator and myself, and uh, uh, Mr. Featherston uh, was very cooperative with, with them as well. He even invited uh, the investigator to come to uh, Moaca Valley to see, the, for example, the irrigation system and, and why the allegation was just ridiculous um, as to some of those allegations. Uh, the panel decided that adequate, credible evidence does not exist uh, to support a finding of just and sufficient cost for the commission to render an opinion uh, whether NRS 281 was violated. The panel found that a minimum level of reliable and competent evidence did not exist to support a reasonable belief uh, by the panel that the subject had any conflict of interest that required disclosure or abstention on September 19, 2012, as a matter before the OPD had no effect on MBIC. Um, so they did not recommend it go to the, com to the commission and dismiss the complaint. Is there any questions about either of those? Yeah, well, a reaction there too, uh, the Attorney General's report. Uh, I've sat on the board now for 10 years. The first nine and three quarters of that time, we have, as 318 requires, the secretary should keep audio recordings or transcripts of all meetings. Uh, we have kept transcripts of all meetings as defined by 318. That's correct. Uh, and uh, when the attorney general said that uh, dealt only with the recordings, I think he, I think he's in error. We have kept transcripts, and that has been adequate <coughs> up until the last quarter. Uh, and at that time, on the advice of our attorney, we have started uh, doing the audio uh, recordings so we don't put the pressure on our secretary to make sure that those things are uh, adequate or uh, are full enough that they would meet the uh, requirement or the uh, definition of transcript. Now, there is a definition of transcript under the open meeting law, which we are not under. There is no definition of transcript in the definition section of 318. That's correct. Therefore, when you turn to the dictionary, the dictionary uh, definition of transcript is a written record, uh, and we have kept that written record. Uh, what I, where, where I think we may be in remiss is we have not developed a policy as to how we are going to deal with the uh, openness of, of this board. And I would suggest, and it would be my recommendation, that we either hold a special meeting, which is, which is uh, under 318, uh, where it states a special meeting can be held, if we notice each member, those who want to come to that, we could set and develop, or we set a committee, or we assign some member uh, to be responsible for developing a policy uh, of open meeting. Uh, we have, and as the Attorney General uh, uh, stated, we have worked at meeting, uh, or coming close to, as close as we can, to the open meeting law. Uh, the Attorney General uh, noted that in, in his report. I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, but I think we probably need to, as a board, come up with a policy based on 318. And I think it's very important that we meet the law as stated under 318. Now, the Attorney General has urged us, uh, not commanded us, not directed us, but urged us to record the meetings. I learned very early in my life from, a, from my father that if he urged something, uh, he may not be demanding it, but if I didn't do as he urged, he might demand it. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, when the Sergeant Major urged something, even if it was not something I was required to do, I very quickly did it because I knew I did not want to deal with the guy who could kill me 17 different ways with just a stump. Uh, so I, I would think we should take the urging and stay with the recordings, I think it's a good idea. But I think we need to develop a policy, and I, I think we need to somehow just decide that amongst the board how we want to attack that. And that's just, that's just me, so. So, would you like that on the agenda for next meeting, the, a discussion on establishing the method to establish? I guess that's the only way we can do that. Take we can't do it because we don't have that as an action item here. I think we need to get that on the agenda. I think we need to do it as quickly and as soon as possible. 
and it can be done either in a special meeting and then presented to the board uh, for action. It can be done by a committee. It can be done by an assignment, and then it be voted on in an open meeting and discussed in an open meeting. That is the way I would recommend doing that. Uh, again, that's that's my feeling. I don't know if we'll put that on the agenda, and the board then can give direction <coughs> and uh, decide how they might handle that. Okay. Um, Is there anything else from the attorney? No, I would just say it, during the month then as we prepare for that agenda item, if any of you have questions about 318 and what the exact requirements are, I can provide those statutes to you and discuss them with you individually or, uh, and we'll be prepared to do so uh, next month as well. 